Hard Rain is a 1998 disaster heist directed by Mikhail Salomon. In the midst of a once-in-a-lifetime storm, um, armoured truck guards Tom and his uncle Charlie are uh, making the rounds of some banks that are in danger of flooding uh, because of this storm. They're collecting up the cash from their vaults so it doesn't get washed away. But when their truck gets stranded in deep water, there's a game of cat and mouse as uh, Tom hides the, the $3 million that they were carrying from a gang of thieves that are hell-bent on, on a big payday. Yes. <laughs> Question, though. What? Is it the rain that causes all the flood, or is it the dam, or... Because there's a dam that floods. Yeah. So if it's the flood, if it's the dam, because they're always banging on about the dam. If it's the yeah, dam, yeah. why call it hard rain? I suppose <laughs> we get it. It's a movie about wet stuff. It's a very wet. <laughs> it's a very wet well, I, movie. This. I guess there's a, a, a well, there's a river and presumably uh, I don't know a lake or a reservoir or something that is <laughs> filling up as they do when as it rains do. a lot, and then yeah. you've got a levee. I mean, it or a spillway that they open to to otherwise the dam will just burst burst its banks. So they have to once the levels get so high, they have to let some of the water out, which obviously then floods the town to a that's, certain that's degree. That's true. That's true. Uh, I mean, the movie. I, don't know. <laughs> I guess <laughs> the movie is very wet. It is. This is very. I mean, it's not just the flood. It's not just the dam. No. It is the it's the rain. Yeah. I mean, literally from the word go, there's water everywhere. Everyone is wet. The entire film. Everywhere. <laughs> It doesn't make it a good film, though. <laughs> I mean, wow. I had never seen this film before. Had you? No, never seen it before. And I think it's always one it's, I knew of it. Mm -hmm. Although I, I kept thinking of, I, in the back of my head, I had Hard Target. All right. Which is obviously not this film. No. That's um, John Woo, who interestingly was originally attached to direct this. He was, that's true, yeah. You know, it's, it's got a decent cast. It's got Christian Slater. I've always been a big Christian Slater fan. Um, it's got Morgan Freeman. Who doesn't like Morgan Freeman? If you don't like Morgan Freeman, get out. <laughs> you know, Morgan Freeman is always great in every movie. He, I mean, he's great here, yeah. but it still doesn't make it a good movie. He can't even save the day. I mean, it was... I thought it was... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I was watching it and I was just like, what? When is this going to... What is going on here? I, I just... <laughs> I mean, and it, meeting Driver, she had nothing to do. Well, no, not, not a great deal. Swing around that. and look wet. <laughs> I mean, that's 90s for you, isn't it? You know, technically yeah. brilliant, I have to say. I think yeah. it was, you know, uh, there's some really good set pieces in yeah. here. Um, and, and there's always a kind of, I think there's always a, when you know the actors swimming around and, and getting into some quite dangerous situations in all that wet stuff, then you kind of, you know, it, it's, it is edge of your seat when you know that the actor or the stuntman in mm. question possibly is at risk. I mean, with, you know, I mean, CGI is quite, water CGI effects can be done, but obviously putting people in big tanks of water is, is still done, and it yeah. was done here. And so that is exciting. And there are moments in here which are exciting, <laughs> but I mean, ah, oh, the plot and the I mean, you know, you it's, it's a... It's <laughs> It's a very generic plot, isn't it? It's very thin, mm. not much to it. No. But it doesn't waste any time, just get straight it into the action. It does get straight into it. Uh, which yeah, is what you true. want, you know, it's only sort of, I don't know, 90-something minutes long, isn't it? It doesn't waste any time. You know exactly who all the characters are, because they're pretty basic action very. movie characters. <laughs> and there's a few, uh, you know, a few lines and some little character moments where you, you know, you get a little, you just get just enough information to understand their motivations, shall we say. Yeah. You don't really need anything else. It is an action movie. You know, there's there's maybe a couple of twists later on, which yes. uh, one of which could be a bit unbelievable. However, <laughs> it is kind of foreshadowed. If you're paying attention, I think it's it's not that surprising. Right. Okay. I know, I won't say any more because it's spoil it if you haven't seen it. Yeah, and like you say, that you know, there's some decent set pieces. You know, the, the, I think the jet ski chase through the school... Was pretty fun. And... Yeah, I mean, yeah, that you know, that was great. That's not something I'd seen before. No. Although the corridors did seem to go on forever. Yes, I mean they were literally, you know, <laughs> round and round and round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When does it ever end? <laughs> but you know, that was quite. That was well shot. Um, you know, these these jet skis darting around, and obviously, as a jet ski turns, it's got has quite a a, a big sharp corner, yeah, on it, yeah. isn't it? Because it, you know, it's it's a small machine, but it turns quite sharply. Mm. And here it is getting through the corridors. And, I, yeah, I mean, you know, and I think all the stuff outside, I mean, it's all on the, 
I mean, some of it was in a sort of a bit. It was a huge set. It must have been a huge set. I mean, yeah. I mean, considering well, I mean, it helps obviously that it's set pretty much all at night, isn't it? So all at night, that yeah. helps when you are filming in a set that that is just a big tank of water. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't have to show things in the far distance because it's dark. Yeah. So, um, but it, it it's very convincing that they are in a in a flooded town. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I would give it that. It looks convincing. Yeah, you, you you at no point think are they in a set? Yes, they are because you don't you don't you don't feel that here no. um, because it's at night and it's, and it's never you know even though it's dark all the time most of the time it, it's never confusing as to what's going on or who's where or what's happening you know the the way no. it's filmed as you know it's yeah I it's mean, not it's, confusing yeah, you know it's one of those films I mean there are there are action there are better action films out there that do action films well and you know I like a bit of character development which other action films you get, I'm thinking of, you know, the, the, the good ones like Die Hard mm. and, and, and films like that. You know, you get the character development. Yeah. You get characters that are not com- not completely over the top. I mean, here, all the characters are a little bit unbelievable. You know, there's this, there's this scene where, you know, Christian Slater gets... So he kind of, he ends up going to... So he's taken this money. He's done... The, the money's been stolen from his truck and his partner's been killed. And he takes the money and he hides it in a... Did you say all this in the plot? No. No, okay, that's good. So he hides it in <laughs> under a grave, because obviously the grave, the, the, the graveyard has been flooded. It's like a crypt, isn't it's it? Like so a crypt, he opens yeah. the door... Oh, no, you can see actually later, don't you? He's sort of tied it to something, isn't Yeah, it? so he does that, and yeah. then he goes off, and then they chase him, and they chase him into the school on the jet skis, and then they... Rocks up in the church, which is where he meets Minnie Driver, who, out of all the you know town residents that have been evacuated, she's decided to cling on to save her church... Uh, or the work she's doing on her church. Then she knocks him out with a crucifix, and then he winds up do. in the uh, as you do. <laughs> and then she he winds up in the local um, police sheriff's headquarters station, sheriff station. Is that what you call it? Police station. <laughs> what you call it here? Call it whatever you want. Uh, <laughs> what do you call it in America? I, police station here. Uh, sheriff, cop shop. Cop um, I shop. don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't police know station. We'll go just with police, police station because that's that's station. what they that's what you call it here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's, anyway, see, that's, it as. that's where he winds up, and uh, he's in a jail cell. And of course, they off, they go off to do their thing, and they lock him in the jail cell. So he's in prison, and then of course the flood starts. The dam breaks, and yeah. the, the flood gets um, you know worse off. You know, he's trying to get out, which is quite an exciting scene. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, when he's you know, trapped, he's in, trapped the in the cell, yeah. and he's trying to get the keys, and that doesn't work, and other things <laughs> happen. But then, of course, he gets like up to the ceiling, and he's trying to you know breathe through the tiny little bit of space he's got where the light is. And the next thing you know, many drivers opening the uh, the top, and you're like, "How lucky was that that she just turned up at the right moment?" I mean, it's one of those films. It's kind of it's it's all over. There's some really kind of wacky characters. I mean, the characters are all a bit that's just one dimensional. I, I found, which kind of is a bit I find a bit annoying personally. Obviously, Morgan Freeman is the level headed leader, and then you've got the 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 guy that quotes the Bible. And then yeah. the loose cannon kid who yeah. <laughs> doesn't know what he's doing. And, and then, then the you've teacher, got the, the, the teacher, teacher who knows how to make bombs, <laughs> which is handy. Yeah. I <laughs> Presumably mean, a chemistry teacher, I don't I know. I mean, they're kind of bumbling crooks, aren't they? they yeah. You're like, why are you doing this? Yeah. You're not going to get away with it. I mean, I, I, I found it. I found it quite irritating, I have to say. There were lots, it was one of those films, there were lots of irritating things in it. I mean, there's a scene where a character gets which is very reminiscent of Speed. And I think there is a, well, a bit of... by the same writer. Oh, OK. I mean, there's a bit of speed going on here. You feel mm. like Christian Slater should be Keanu Reeves and Mini Driver should be um, Sandra Bullock. Again, not as well developed, I didn't find here. I mean, there's a, there was a scene here very similar to um, Speed where one of the characters is kind of caught up, handcuffed to... Here she's handcuffed to some banisters. Mm. And the water comes in and then Christian Slater has to save Mini Driver, and he's trying to he's scrambling around this flooded house looking for a saw, which then breaks. <laughs> and you're like, the banisters are made of wood. Just kick the thing over. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a metal pole of a, an underground train, no. which you can't break off. Because in speed, I think he's trying to he's, he tries to kick. Yeah, the yeah he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, he doesn't even attempt to kick the wooden <laughs> banister off. Easily, you would have been able to break that. But no, it's just ludicrous. This film. It is. Well, it's a nineties action film. That was the. That was. They were all so, ludicrous. So was Speed, and that oh, yeah, was. True. That was. I true. mean, that was ludicrous, but it was kind of ludicrous 
he kind of went with the ludic- lud- ludicrousity. Is that a word? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> it is now, yeah. I mean... <laughs> ludicrousness? Ludicrousness, yeah. I don't know I mean, if that's a word. I didn't... You know, I did not go out of my way to not enjoy this film because I love... Love Christian Slater, love yep. many drivers. You know they're they're great. They're great actors. Morgan Freeman, Betty White from yeah, Golden Girls. Yeah. Uh, I mean, who doesn't? You know, I mean, it's a great cast. I mean, her and her husband are a bit odd, but they're quite <laughs> amusing for the tiny little bit of time they're in the film. Yeah, um, I mean Ed Asner as well. I mean, obviously the, she, he and Betty Betty White both passed away last year, didn't they? Sadly, but um, they did. Yeah. Um. So I, you know, I, I didn't sit down and think, right, I'm gonna, because you know, I. I I'm, I'm not great at some of these films, especially <laughs> modern action films. I'm always a bit like, oh, my God, this is terrible. So I didn't sit down and think, right, I'm not going to enjoy this. And obviously, we've had some bad weather ourselves recently. Yeah. You know, winds and a bit of rain and stuff. So it was kind of, you know, fitting for this time of the month. Uh, but, yeah, I just thought, I just, I was, I was clock watching a lot. And then I started looking up information on IMDb while I was watching it, and that's never a good sign. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, I just, I think it's because, I mean, I, I think Christian Slater's, you know, when I was growing up, he, I was well into Christian Slater films. You know, I was a massive fan of um, Heathers and Pump Up the Volume, and he was in Young Guns 2, and, he, you know, there's a lot of great films he made. He was mm. very kind of rebellious, that kind of rebellious actor, a little bit like John Cusack. He was very, you know, he always, you knew it was a Christian Slater film, and, and they were always really enjoyable. But here, he just felt like he was just, you know, sitting around, swimming around. <laughs> he wasn't. He didn't have a lot to do. I mean, he co-produced the film, so he must have liked it. You know, he must have I had mean, something for it. I think, it, obviously, but... it, you know, in the 90s, there was this trend to take sort of regular actors and put them in action films. Absolutely. Like, like yeah. Keanu Reeves yeah. and like John Cusack. And you know, even Nick Cage and John Travolta weren't really known for action. But, no. they, you know, they, they were put in action films. Which I think all started really with Bruce Willis in Die Hard, didn't it? Because he was a regular Joe. I guess so. And he wasn't yeah. like a muscle bound Stallone or, or Arnold. No. From then on, that kind of that trend kind of continued. And yeah, he got, obviously, Christian Slater got caught up in that with, I don't know what the first, I mean, Broken Arrow was a couple of years. I don't know, he kind of disappeared for a little while in the sort of 2000s, I think. Well, but, um, after this one was released, he did a little bit of time inside. Oh, did he? He was he, <laughs> oh, was, right. he was down the sheriff's station oh, on well, there the you go, night then. of the premiere. Yeah, <laughs> oh, was he? <laughs> he was. Yeah. Wow. Okay. He handed himself in apparently. Yeah, mm-hmm. So uh, he was yeah. a bit of a bad boy. He was a bit of a bad boy. Um, yeah. So I mean, I think you know. So I went into it wanting to enjoy it because of Christian Slater and because Mini Driver. I mean, I you know we know Mini Driver around this time from Gross Point Blank, which mm. we covered on the channel, and she was great in that. And of course, Good Will Hunting and. Um, I mean, Randy Quaid was quite a lot of fun in it as well. Randy Quaid. I mean, they're, they're all watch. great cast. I think for me, it was just it, it just felt maybe it, maybe a bit rushed or yeah. It, it's not the most amazing film ever made. It's I mean, what would you rather watch this or Speed Two? Another water based. I think I'd go with Speed Two. Mm. Actually, okay. you can't you know, can't beat a big boat going through a village. Right. Better or, villain, definitely. Better villain, Willem Dafoe. It's just dumb fun, really. That's that's how I look. at it. Yeah, and I mean it is dumb fun, um, and like I said, I think the I think technically it's 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 some good stuff in here. I mean, there's a lot of love for this film. I was reading some of the reviews mm. at the time. It was it got panned, bombed, didn't it? Um, and yeah, it didn't. I think it was it had a seventy million dollar budget and just made like, just under twenty million, and it, and it went straight to video in most countries. But no, it's thinly plotted, <laughs> and uh, well, yeah. you know, I said it, it it gets on with it, and and it, you know has a brisk pace to it. Maybe that. Maybe that hurts it slightly. Maybe it could have done with a sort of extra 10, 15 minutes for a little bit of character development. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, we should talk about the DVD, but I mean, you know, when I when it started, I was like, oh, this this gets to the point very quickly mm. and it doesn't hang around. No. And you're kind of straight into... Because the first time you see Christian Slater and Ed, Ed Asner who play, they're kind of like, you know, armoured truck uh, guards. You kind of... It looks because they've they've shot it in... They're in the bank and mm. they've got two shotguns. So you, you, the first thing you think is, oh, they're robbing a bank. But of course, then they they walk out and they're not. They're just obviously doing it legitimately. And um, so I thought it kind of opened up well. I just very quickly. I mean, I you know there was some nice interaction between the two of them in the you know there's a scene where they get in the truck as he's Ed Asner's obviously much older and Christian Slater looks over and he's like, oh, you should uh, you need to clean you because there's a bit of hair growth in your <laughs> ear there, which I thought was a nice you know back and forth with the two of them. And I don't know at what point I, I started losing all 
hope in it. <laughs> um, I don't know. It just kind of started to slowly. It kind of went up very quickly, and then for me, just kind of gradually lost its lost its way somewhat. But you know, technically interesting. But you have it on DVD. I do. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Old Plastic, jewel case. Jewel case one. Yeah. Jobbies, which they don't make, didn't make for long and don't make anymore. Um, you know, doesn't have any features on it um, or anything like that. I mean, it's been released on Blu-ray. I think in the States and here it's out of print because it's quite expensive. I mean, if you're bothered, I would go for the German one, which is quite cheap. And also, I think it has a behind-the-scenes thing on it as well. Not very long, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, I couldn't find it streaming. I mean, it's, I think it's a Paramount movie, which means we'll probably get hit with a copyright claim. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it might be on Paramount Plus in the US. I don't know. I mean, we're, having, we're getting Paramount Plus in the UK soon. So maybe it'll pop up on there. Don't know, but... If you like generic 90s action kind movies... original action <laughs> movies, yeah. Die Hard on a floodplain, then <laughs> um, <laughs> check it out. So that was Hard Rain, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, let us know in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button up there, and don't forget to push the bell for notifications. There's other videos to check out over there. Come and find us on social media, and join us again soon for another video.